in biology, there is this concept of a model organism. A soap bubble is a model system in fluid dynamics. It has all these interesting phenomena. One of them is the Marangoni effect. If you've seen a soap bubble, you've seen these chaotic colors. You'll get a buildup in one location where you have high surface tension next to a region where you have low surface tension. And that will redistribute the surface active molecules with surfactant. So it helps to keep the soap film from thinning to the point of rupture. When these films get very thin, they diffract light. So to first control it, we'd create our soap bubbles, but keep them in solution. And then we'd slowly elevate them. So it was like a head popping out of a liquid solution and we would just be looking from the top. That allowed us to have a control over how we would expose the surface area of the bubble, how it would probe out. So it was able to actually stop the Marangoni flows, arrest them. In the process, you get this wonderful cascade of patterns and this hierarchy of Marangoni cells. Those patterns contain information on the thickness of the film as a function of space and time. And so you create a movie that reveals the drainage dynamics of that soapy liquid as it drains away from the apex of the bubble. You have these waves that go up, but as you elevate it, the next wave would actually arrest the previous wave. This is a testament to looking at a system that has been studied for centuries, but applying a new twist, looking at it in a different way, and it puzzles your intuition of what you expect things to do. That very unexpected and unanticipated result makes you realize that there is fundamental understanding with something as seemingly simple as a soap film that is still in need of exploration. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.